Hello everyone. In this section, we will talk about uh, the introduction of engineering mechanics and the uh, branches that we must be learn all throughout this uh, subject. So when we say mechanics, it is the study of forces that act on bodies and the resultant motion that those bodies experience and with roots in physics and mechanics. So when we, when we say engineering mechanics, it is the basis of all the mechanics, uh, mechanics sciences. Uh, we have civil engineering, material science and engineering, mechanical engineering, and we have also aeronautical and aerospace. So engineering mechanics, it is the study of the effects of forces on particles and rigid bodies. It does not consider uh, the formations of the bodies, the forces uh, that act upon. So, here in the engineering mechanics, we only uh, we only consider the uh, the body na it is rigid, no? So, if there's a, a destructive uh, in destructive force, so hindi na ito i-consider nga na siya deformation nga mahita mo so, sa kabadi. Okay, so we have uh, visual introduction to subject uh, in engineering mechanics. So, so, engineering mechanics is divided into two parts. We have statics and dynamics. In statics, we will deal with equilibrium of bodies under action of forces. Uh, just like bodies may be either at rest, or move with a constant velocity. And for the statics, uh, napod siya yung mga branches. And we have force of system and the ap application. So for the force of system, uh, dire na ito ba, uh, dire ang root sa pag-analyze, no? Para ma-solve ma na ito ang application just like the trusses, centroid, and fractions. So, we have also the dynamics. So, dynamics deals with motion of bodies or just like uh, accelerated motions. And dynamics is, uh, there are also two branches, no? We have the kinematics and we have also the kinetics. When we, when we say kinematics, it involves, uh, it deals with uh, analyzing a motion without involving the uh, forces. Uh, unlike for the kinetics, it deals with the uh, forces sa yahang uh, motion. So, when we solving uh, when we solving in, just like for example, the statics and the, the dynamics na problem, uh, we ma, uh, it is very important na ma-learn na to ang uh, basic quantity, just like, for example, we have length, time, mass, and force. So, for the length, length can be defined as a measurement of physical quantity of distance. So, just like sa length, no? Kung mag ta sa, uh, like, uh, kinematics nga problem, we must, uh, we must have the measurement for the length or the distance so, like, just like, for example, we have kinematic equation. So, nag-involve na siya of distance and velocity. So, di na ito makuha iyang uh, velocity kung wala tay distance. No? And also for the time, no? So, di sa na ito makuha ang iyang motion sa sakabadi kung wala tay time. So, it is very important nga malarn po nato ang mga basic quantities. Ani. So, time is conceived as a succession of events. So, mo na definition. And also for the mass, mass is the quantity of matter uh, in a body regard, regardless on, of its volume or any forces acting on it. And lastly is force. In general, force is considered as a push or pull exerted by one body on another. So these three, we have length, uh, these three quantities we have length, time, and mass is also called a uh, independent na quantities, no? 
and for the force we uh, this one is uh, it is also called uh, and uh, dependent uh, quantities since this one uh, wala siya wala siya depend uh, wala siya nag kaning three nga quantities wala siya dependent or wa siya nag depende sa uh, other variables no or other quantities unlike any force diba ang formula for the force is force is equal to mass times acceleration so nagdepende uh, yung force nato is nagdepende siya sa ato ang mass nga quantities no as we increase the mass so the mass of the body so mo increase po dang ato ang force no so na siya na siya uh, magdepend siya sa usa ka variable which is yung mass no so this one is also called the uh, dependent variable or dependent quantities so in any system of units the units of some for some physical quantities must be specified through a measurement are the base quantities of the system and their units are the base units of the system so the algebraic combination of the base value can be used to express all other physical quantities each of these physical quantities referred to as derived quantity with each unit being referred to as derived unit so there are uh, common unit of measurement no so for the international or system of units or si or what we call the metric system for the length we have uh, meter for the time we have second for the mass we have kilogram and for the force we have newton so for uh, US customary or what we call the English system we have feet for the time second for the mass slug and for the force we have pounds So, in terms of uh, when it comes to solving the uh, just like so statics or dynamics, we can also visualize uh, by solving the scalar and vector quantities. When we uh, scalar, scalars are quantity which possess magnitude only, no? And can be added arithmetically while the vectors are uh, so just like for example as scalars we have time volume density speed energy and mass so one of the example for the scalars quantity so for the vectors are quantity quantities which possess uh, direction as well as magnitude when we solving the engine in engineering mechanics no, the problem for the engineering mechanics na putay i obey nga law which is kang newton's nga law no so first is uh we have new uh, newton uh, first law of newton's no that is a particle remains at rest or continues to move with uniform velocity if there is no unbalanced force acting on it. So, on sa may pasabot ani. So, just like example, we have a vehicle, no, that na na siya move motion. So, if there is no uh, something forces forces nga or an or what we call the destructive forces or other vehicle nga mo bump up niya. So, wala yung acceleration nga mahita mo sa usaka vehicle, no? So, it remains uh, constant ra yung velocity, ana. So, for the second law of Newton's, the acceleration of a particle is proportional to the resultant force acting on it. In it, and is in the direction of this force. So, that's why we have the formula for force. We have force is equal to mass times accelerations. So, the more nga 
uh, the more nga mo apply tag tako nga forces the more sad mo increase ang ato uh, uh, acceleration ana so for the third law of newtons the forces of action and reaction between interacting bodies are equal in magnitude uh, opposite and direction and collinear so if there's uh, if there's an action and there must be uh, reaction forces no so sa para walay uh, sa usa ka butang or object walay failure nga mahitabo no so just like for example mag nag-apply ka sa imong table nag-apply ka og forces so there must be something uh, na ay reaction force pod sa leg sa usa ka leg sa usa ka uh, ato ang table no so mao na nga walay failure nga mahitabo sa ato ang uh, table so newton's law of we have also last uh, newton's law of gravitation any particle of matter in the universe attracts uh, attracts any other width of force varying directly as the as the product of the masses and inversely as the square of the distance between them so newton here discovered a relationship between the motion of uh, the moon and the motion of of a body uh, feeling freely on earth no? By his dynamical and gravitational theories, he ex explained Kepler's law and established the modern quantities science of gravitation. So, dere ma explain nga nung ang moon o ang er, ang ang moon must stick around uh, around by by the Earth, no? Due to the attraction of forces between. Uh, between the moon and the earth no so nai attraction force nga nahitabo ana nila so gravitation newton's law of gravity gravitation which governs the mutual attractions between bodies is so if there's two particles no so there's a attraction force between these two particles so we have force we have also the force with a specified uh, distance so by by the statement of newtons sa gravitations the for uh, the attraction force uh, expresses can be expressed as here f is equals to g m1 times m2 over r squared where f is the mutual force of attraction of two particles and g is a un universal constant called the constant of gravitation which have which have the constant value of 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 meter cube per kilogram second squared and we have also the r this one is the distance between the centers of the particles for the apparent weight so the gravitational attraction of the earth on the body of mass m may be cal calculated from the result of a simple gravitational experiment so we have the simple formula for the apparent weight that is weight is equal to mass times gravity so let's have a sample problem so we need to uh, practice food or uh, we need to ma master nato ang conversion no uh, when it comes to solving the solving the problem so dapat master pod nato ang conversion so sample problem convert 2 km per hour to millimeter per second so using the standard conversion factors of the SI system of units we obtain so 2 km per hour that is 2 uh, here let us uh, convert muna sa hour to minutes, no? So, in one hour, we have 60 minutes. So, na siya'y kulang, no? So, dapat napod, napod ni siya'y in terms of seconds, no? So, in one minute pod, we have 60 seconds, no? 
So, 60 seconds here, over 1 minute. So, para makancel out siya. So, nakulangan lang siya sa, sa young solution. And after that, makuha na natong in terms of second. So, we can convert na po also for the kilometer. 2 millimeter. In 1 kilometer, we have 1 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter. And that is equal to 555.56 millimeter per second. Okay, so for the sample problem, find the sample problem 1.2, find the gravitational force exerted by the earth on the 80 kilogram man whose elevation above the surface of the earth equals the radius earth. So the mass and radius of the earth are m earth that is equal to 5.9742 times 10 to the power of 24 kilogram and for the radius of earth we have 6400 kilometer respectively so before we start in solving this problem let us uh, illustrate for what uh say gi uh state aning a problem no let us say we have this uh earth no and the position of the man is uh, we have radius of earth and the position of this man is uh, whose elevation above the surface though of the earth equals to the radius of radius of uh, the radius earth no so which means that this distance here to here is equal sa radius sa tong earth so Kanidae is radius of earth din siya. So, we can say in expressing the formula of the attraction, Newton's gravitation, uh, attraction force. So, applying the law of universal gravitation, we have force that is equal to g m1 times m2 over r squared or equal to g mass of man multiplied by mass of earth. So, here, our distance here is twice na sa yung radius of earth no so from here center so ang pag uh, measure nato sa distance ani is from center to center man so radius of earth plus radius of earth that is twice of the radius of the earth squared okay so now by uh, we have constant value for g 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 then we have also the 80 kilogram mass of demand multiplied by 5.974 2 times 10 to the power of 24 and divide 2 times 64 uh, 6400000 squared so yan so multiply 6.67 times 80 5.4 Multiply by 5.9742 times 10 to the power of 24. Then divide by 2 times 6400000 squared. So, yeah. so the answer for this problem is 194.66 kilogram meter per second squared. Or this one, uh, ang bungkig sa Newton is in terms man to 1 kilogram meter per second squared. So, we can uh, we can replace this one kilogram meter per second squared into newton no? so 194.66 newton so that's all for now and thank you for your listening